1993, a young man from the American Midwest, along with his older brother Roy, started a cartoon studio in the back rooms of a small real estate office in Hollywood, California. This was the small beginning of a family entertainment company that would create unforgettable stories. Characters that become beloved friends, wondrous experiences, and music that has become the soundtrack of our lives. That young man was Walt Disney, a master storyteller whose imagination knew no bounds and who delighted in making the impossible possible. Disney 100 Exhibition is a journey through 100 years of Disney magic. Presented in themed galleries based on Walt Disney's creative concepts and philosophies. These include storytelling, creating believable characters, the spirit of adventure and discovery, the magic of sound and music, the world around us, real and imagined. Curiosity, imagination, and technological innovation. The worldwide wonder of the Disney parks and an everlasting sense of optimism about the future. Walt Disney famously said that it was all started by a mouse, but it really was all started by Walt himself. His philosophies became the foundation of the Walt Disney Company. They still inspire Disney's artists, filmmakers, imagineers, and the storytellers of today.
were supposed to start with Snow White. I didn't know we were supposed to go by release year. I failed as a Disney adult. Well, he's a puppet. These are all the books that all the movies are based on. So. God, this music is so fucking loud. Alright, this is. Now we're going the right way. Hello, Bob. These are all the models that they use for all the characters when they're animated. Them. So you got. Frozone, there's Buzz, Remy, Mater, and Anna and Elsa and Jeannie. Got all the characters. Stacy wore that. It's like a. Uh oh. I think I smudged it. Fuck. It's like a beanie for his head. Boxes. On the Pixar ball. That's the Pixar ball. I found the Easter egg. I'm a real Disney adult now. I don't remember which one that is. Oh, I didn't see that one. I haven't seen Stranger Tides yet. That. Now it makes sense, but I don't know what that one is. That thing is huge. I didn't know it was so big. Big sounds. Oh yeah, my area of expertise, Star Wars. It's a lot bigger in person. It's the ancient Jedi texts. The sacred Jedi texts. They sugar they are not. It sounds. He's alive. Even though I don't like that movie, it's still pretty cool. Hello, sir. Hello. 
Nice, nice to meet you. Hi. Can you see back there? There's like the, the wires to make a move. Another area of expertise. That didn't sound good. Save me, Spidey. Got Thor's helmet. Eternal helmet. Star Lord. Mark One Iron Man. Wasp. Loki. Well, that's the Ragnarok one. I was wondering why it was so small. The shield looks small, too. Like, I don't know. I feel like it should be bigger than that. Prints are from Chris Evans. Ajax. I, I knew that, yep. Mm -hmm. I noticed that most of the Star Wars props are from Last Jedi. Only the lightsaber and kind of BB-8 aren't. BB-8 they have for like the whole trilogy. And then the lightsabers from Rise of Sky. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. Dice, Korg, the ancient Jedi text and the Stormtrooper, those are all from Last Jedi. So that's, that's interesting. More variety from those Marvel folk. I think I've only seen this once. I just know Lois Lane wore that. This is all the music for different movies, things. Oh, this is just Snow White, I think. All this stuff. It's the Mandalorian. Oh, there's Grogu. There he is. Are you trying to shoot a web there, Mickey? Finally putting Soul in theaters. Took him long enough. Should have been like that from the start. I'm gonna play the guitar. That was awesome. These are all used to do different sounds. So this is like chimes or for Tinkerbell's movement. And then this bottle they use for the pickaxes in Snow White. Hey, look, it's Steamboat Willie. That's, that's... <laughs> public domain now, so I can just play it in the corner right there. Um, and that's the whistle they use to make this sound. So I'm gonna have the, the short in the corner because I think that's funny. I gotta take advantage of it. It's public domain, you have to do it. Some foss. Here you can listen to all the different Disney soundtracks and it's pretty extensive. They got they got Hannah Montana and Marvel movies. Disney parks, classic animation. We got a whole bunch of stuff. It's a whole bunch of cool stuff. These are all those nature documentaries Disney does and did. And some pants. Those are authentic Walt pants. He wore those. Nice. Stylish. There's an Academy Award. It's an Oscar. Look, I can hold it. It's like I'm holding it. It's like I won. Joe Rody. No, he's out of focus now. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, come back. 
Welcome back, Joe Rody. And yes, there he is. Oh, it's Radiator Springs. I've been there. As for Disneyland Paris, theirs is pretty cool because they incorporate Haunted Mansion into their Frontierland. Here's some Matterhorn with the old, the old sky buckets or whatever they were going through it. That's pretty cool. Don't have that anymore. Oh, it's Pandora. James Cameron's wet dream. Look, Interventions isn't dead. It's right here in Chicago. This is how they do, they used to do all the old animated movies. They'd have all the different layers of the, the background and characters. Doing that, going down, and then some reproduction storyboards. That's a good face. I like that face. This is from Walt's office. These birds. And then the animatronics. And there's... There's Lincoln's head. That's from John Wilkes Booth. And then these are controls for different animal kind. Doesn't do anything. I'm sad. Well, this is a president head. Who's who's that? Can anyone identify which president this is from? From 2016 to 2020. trolling it's called we do a little trolling Pixar. That used to be their old logo. That like indent there. Luxo. Alright, this is cool. A concept map of Disneyland. So there's Main Street. And then, that's the Jungle Cruise. That's Tomorrowland. Fantasyland's back there. And then, there's Frontierland. Then I guess that's where all the trains go. So there's the roundhouse and all the sheds. Interesting that they show that on this map. But I guess this, oh, Holiday Land? What holiday land is? What's it? Moon Wolf? Mickey Mouse Club? Huh. This is a real area of expertise Disney parks. 
Doesn't say when it was used, but oh, I don't know. <laughs> but there's a Matterhorn bobsled, and then the Peter Pan pirate ship as well. from inner space. That's from opening day. Oh, yeah! I remember that. I've seen that photo. It's right there. Guard for life. Here's coupon book. Oh, that's not the ticket book. The ticket book looks like something else. Well, that's the speech for the plaque. This guy's from Florida's Mr. Toad's. I don't know what that is now, but it's gone skis. God, ah, Jesus. Oh, the fireworks. Of the fireworks. Wow. Look, it's the Avengers in Jabba's palace in the up house. Encanto from Depot Bucket. That's my favorite part of the movie, along with the corn. Sell some of it. Boop. Wow. Who's Yoda? And then it came to Soka. Oh, it's all the Star Wars. Kylo Ren, BB 8, and Grogu. Man, oh my god. Oh, it's the best duo. I'm waiting for the Marvel part. That's not the Marvel part. They had the Avengers earlier. I'm waiting for them so I can get the video. 
I'll take the Disney, the, the Disney parks. It's like I'm in Disney Plus. It's insane. Who's that guy? What Disney movie's he in? I haven't seen that one. But it's bet it's bad. <laughs> there's Marvel, there's the Hulk, and Captain Marvel, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Black Panther, and Ant-Man, Iron Man. Ultron, Thanos. Guardians. He just had an erection. Now we get to the best part of Disney. Merchandise. And the second best part of Disney is coming home with all the shit you bought that costs you a fuck ton of money. Yeah! So a lot of it was, you know, your standard merchandise affair. You know, like t-shirts and pins and cups. No Stanleys! Are you alright? What's wrong? I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. And of course, because it's Disney, it costs a lot of money. So I didn't buy a lot, because I knew it would cost me a lot. This still cost me a lot, I won't tell you, but triple digits. Christmas may be over. But it doesn't mean you can't buy a good ornament. You got Mickey there, you got Cap's shield, and BB-8, and Elsa, and the slipper. And then there, got the logo. We also have the pin set. You gotta get the Disney pins. These aren't like, you know, the Disney pins that have like, you know, the little Mickey Mouse thing on the back. Um, but you know, they're Disney, and they're pins. So they count, right? I don't know. So, um, you know, it's the same logo as the ornament, and uh, another thing we'll see. Uh, so you got, you know, the, the glass slipper, you got Captain America's shield, and you have Mickey Mouse from Fantasia. Um, we'll take them off, just so you see them. So there's, there's the Mickey pin, and then we have the slipper pin. There it is. That one's kind of fun. There are all the different colors. And then the most basic one. Um, oh, that's weird. The, it's not like in the center of the shield. But uh, then we have a Captain America shield, which is, you know... It's Captain America's shield, what are you expecting? Something crazy? No, it's gonna be red, white, and blue. And then you're left with this, so... Yeah. I bought a shirt. The shirt, wouldn't you know it, has the fucking logo on it. Wow. It's the same thing. It's in blue. It says... Disney 100 on the front. So... You know, you, you gotta get a shirt. You have to. I also got a poster, um, because they sold all the different posters they had throughout the exhibit. This is the Spirit of Adventure and Discovery. So you got the little squid from, I'm guessing, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You have Moana there with Maui from Moana. So it's got the rock. You got the Millennium Falcon. You got Buzz Lightyear. And then you got my Spidey boy. Thanks to Sony, this is as much as you're gonna see of him there. You fucking dipshits. Just let Kevin Feige and Tom Holland make the Spider-Man movie they wanna make. Don't fucking put Toby and Andrew in it. I like them, but we don't fucking need them. 
in Spider-Man 4. Just make it about Tom Holland and Daredevil teaming up to kick Kingpin's ass. Why do we need the Spider-Verse again? We don't need No Way Home 2. We need Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland and Daredevil fighting Kingpin. That's all I fucking want. I got some coloring pages. This is the other Spidey thing that I saw. They had these little coloring pages at the end of the exhibit. Um, it said two per customer, but there wasn't anyone checking. So you could you could feasibly take them all if you really wanted to. I don't think anyone would care. Um, <laughs> so, so I don't know. Maybe that was more heavily, you know, uh, monitored, but not not today. They weren't doing that. So this is the Spider-Man one for Spidey and his amazing friends, the new Disney Junior Spider-Man show, which I've watched a little bit. It's not that bad. My biggest gripe is they call Peter Parker Spidey all the time. Spidey! Why can't you just fucking call him Spider-Man? And then uh, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen, she's Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider! And then Miles Morales, Spider-Man, they call like... I don't know, something really fucking stupid. Just fucking call him Spider-Man. Why do we have to just just call him Spider-Man? Hey, I just started on Miles Morales isn't Spider-Man. He's Miles Morales. No, he is Spider-Man. Fucking Spider-Man because it drives me nuts. Here's the answer. He's Spider-Man. Fuck you if you think otherwise. <laughs> right, Marvel rant over. Uh, we have this one, The Wonder of Disney. Um, then we got this one, Mickey and Minnie, Hundred Years of Wonder, and then The Illusion of Life as well. Um, with Mickey painting himself. Um, so yeah. Now I do. Welp. That's it. That that's all I bought. Um. Yep, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you didn't think it was shit, or else I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. YouTube might kill me if I say that. I will... I'll tell you to have a magical day in a really, really bitchy tone. Give you the old Disney point. I didn't do the Disney point in the video. I just realized that. I should have fucking done that. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's a TikTok I filmed. This will end the video. Uh, bye bye. Enjoy the TikTok. Here it is. What? You look lonely.